this demo I'm going to do a watercolour on a MDF panel um, it's been primed with two coats of Daniel Smith watercolour ground never used it before so I'm interested to see um, how it's going to uh, work so let's give it a go I'm going to try out this iridescent electric blue by Daniel Smith so uh, we'll see how that works as well it's basically it's like metallic that uh, I've got this reference picture here of uh, this is actually an oil painting I did a little while ago but I shall I'm doing a moon a night moon sky to uh, someone asked in a comment have I ever thought about doing a, uh, a moonscape so uh, I have done some in the past so I thought I'd uh, give it a go so this blue definitely would be quite good for that summer blue I think that um, I will need to mix some other stuff to it to uh, turn it to a night sky but uh, hopefully the uh, luminescent particles will um, work quite well so so far this paper is or say this board with this ground on it is behaving like watercolor paper which um, I'm not quite sure what I would use this for um, I have thought maybe I would use it in a sketchbook you know where I do pencil sketches and um, that I could actually prime some of the pages to um, accept watercolor so that might be quite useful I think um, but I suppose the idea is you can paint it on all sorts of surfaces so this area is now nice and wet so let's see if we can paint some clouds hopefully this will stay wet long enough which it seems to be so, yeah, I'm quite actually impressed with this that um, let me know in the comments if you've used it and what you use it for try some of that iridescent blue with just a bit of crimson Go darker top here get some blue in there so let's try some of that iridescent blue for maybe a distant mountain or something there we're going to need to make that darker so I would say the iridescent blue is ideal perhaps for you know maybe a summer sky um, and adding you know, some interesting blues into your scene so come down here for the land mass Let's just use water with a bit of that blue in there. So I'm going to need to try and lift out some colour. So we'll try that. This is, I suppose, a bit of a test to see. And can I lift out? not so well as on um, paper but um, I haven't actually got a lot of pigment on here so that's not really a fair test so I think we'll let that dry for the moment so we've got a bank coming across here this is much thicker paint a bit of water on there let it uh, soften a little bit and I'm going to need to create a bit of a ball of we'll see does this allow you to uh, retain a bead of water here let's have a little test for it so yeah I quite like the iridescent blue that um not sure this is necessarily the best use for it but um you know maybe if I was painting a car in a street scene you know quite nice maybe to have that metallic uh, look to it um, and you know thin down it's quite nice for a uh, you know, probably quite a nice sort of blue sky so it's just great a little bit of softness there 
but uh, certainly um, it does feel like watercolour paper which is quite bizarre really because it's a piece of MDF panel that's just been primed right so let's get some nice strong darks next to the moon there we want contrast even let's pull a oh, next to it a darker tree there always good to get some verticals in let's switch to a slightly different brush to try and get some different kind of abstract marks uh, this is the Skoda sword brush here go back to get some of that blue in so the theme of this painting is obviously blue so uh, any of that iridescent blue nice strong darks around the the moon there we'll draw the the eye that area The bead has retained here pretty well. So it's not quite like watercolour paper. I can hard to describe what the difference is. It moves slower, I think, on here. So uh, it is a little bit different. So there's the, the moon reflection. So let's try and get that in the right place. But uh, definitely you can get these soft edges and so on water on here just to I certainly wouldn't give up watercolor paper for this but um, you know, from point of view of being able to put it on um, other services you know like my sketchbook and so on that's going to be quite useful but uh, I don't think it's quite the same, the effects you get. So it's a different kind of painting. Yeah. Still good fun though. Still good fun to try other things. Try and just lift out a little bit of light coming through there. before that does dry just in about a stiff brush that works slightly better careful not to fiddle too much with it with the same rules apply as paper. This um, Skoda Ultima is good for uh, doing this sort of grass in the foreground that. Um, sort of pushing it in this direction you get this uh, kind of effect uh, if there's any caution to uh, using this iridescent paint is that uh, if you mix on the palette like I do here you'll end up with a metallic particle in all your paint which could be a good good thing or a bad thing I will tell Let's 
go for a couple of tall trees here. This is a Pro Art Medium Sword Brush, and it's great for uh, doing this sort of stuff. I can use this to just pull the eye over to the moon where we want it to go. Little one there. Balance the scene out. It's going a little bit darker in the foreground here. To that. So, let me know in the comments whether you use this Daniel Smith ground and what you think about it and how you use it. It'd be interesting to uh, to find out. The darker on here. Definitely looks like a watercolour painting, but uh, it's on a uh, MDF panel. Uh, I suppose the idea is you could put it straight into a picture frame and it's ready to hang on the wall. Um, I have got some spray varnish uh, for watercolours. There we go. That's uh, my watercolour in a frame. So um, with a coat of uh, spray varnish, that could go straight onto the wall. Um, not sure whether it's something I would do again um certainly i will perhaps put some um, some of this ground in my sketchbook you know i've got multi-medium stuff in here that um that's an acrylic painting that's an oil so these are watercolors um so that's just watercolor paper i've stuck in so maybe you know with the ground on there that might work quite well um and you know, oil paintings so i do try to keep a sketchbook for that purpose i'll give it a go but um i think i shall stick to paper though in uh, in my normal watercolor painting so let me know in the comments what you think and whether you use it and what you use it for and i shall see you on the next video don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe uh, take a look at my patreon page hundreds of videos there uh, full tutorials for you to watch and a great way to support me as well so see you soon out in the dark Lights on the water A moon and her daughter Dancing around